from or tuning in from this is your 10 minute plugin from MBN and I'm your host for today Abazida Joyce Murigi all the way from Nairobi Kenya and today we are talking about the judgment day on Monday I talked about judging others that uh, we human beings are quick to judge we like to judge others and we say that uh, God is slow to anger and rich in mercy. And he gives us a lot of time. He is very patient with us. And in fact, he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for us, Jesus Christ, so that we can be reconciled back to him. And so that come on a uh, come judgment day, then we get the reward and we are not condemned to death. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me, uh, Lady V. Thank you, thank you for cheering me on. Today we are talking about the judgment day. So let me just uh, delve uh, into the subject. And I want to look at what our constitution says about the judgment day, and I hope I have enough time. So 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 and 10, the constitution the, or what we like to call the scriptures or the Bible says, for we must appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. So even for us who are good, or whoever is good, let me not even qualify myself because I'll be qualified and justified by God. Whoever believes, whoever does good, will also face the seat of judgment. And then John chapter three, verse 18 says, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the son, on only son of God. Then Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 says, and it is appointed for man to die once. And after that, after that comes judgment. That the will of God is for us to die once. Because after that, then we should be joined with him eternally. If we believe and we are on the right side of, you know, him. But if we don't and we chapter 20 verse 11 to 15 I will read very fast and in fact before I read um, the scripture I want to uh, read an introduction laid out in Revelation the book of Revelation the introduction says the apostle John wrote the book of Revelation during his exile on the island of Patmos John's purpose in writing this book was to give hope and encouragement to the Christians who are suffering severe persecution for their faith in Christ Jesus. These Christians needed to know that God controls everything that happens here on earth. Through, through imagery and symbols, John makes one thing very clear. Jesus, is the Lord, Jesus Christ is the Lord and the ruler over everyone and everything. Even powerful human governments, please note, Christ is clearly in control and will someday judge and punish what is evil, even Satan. He will also establish an everlasting kingdom with a new heaven and a new earth. And that is good news to us who believe. So, Chapter, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 11 to 15 says, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it, the earth and the heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. 
the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in, that, in those books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and the dead and heads gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to what they had done. We shall give an account before the seat of judgment. The dead and heads were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. In the next few minutes, I want us to look at what judgment day is, and I will give some light. For me, judgment day is the payment day, like you have heard about what our constitution says. It will be the day when everyone will give an account before the Lord Jesus Christ after his second coming. The dead will rise and everyone will face judgment. We have already had that. There are some measures, of course, mentioned in the constitution, which we, which we should, or according to the law, we should measure up to. They are, uh, and, and these are the 10 commandments. We know about them so well. And then, of course, there are deadly sins or sins specified in the same constitution. I'm not going to go into details. Then there is also the law of love, that we must love our God with all our might. And secondly, we must love our neighbor. Everyone we encounter or who encounters us is our neighbor. Then, of course, we are also going to be measured up against our works. What did we do to the hungry? What did we do to the thirsty? However, we all have fallen short of this glory. We have sinned. So one act from God made us whole. This act of God brought glorification to us, brought us, you know, glory, brought us back, you know, to, to the glory of God. This one act justified us. God sent his only begotten son to die for all our sins so that we can have eternal life with God, so that we do not get separated from God, our creator, our father, who is so kind and patient with us. And all what we need to do, and we have mentioned here again and again in, in our MBN TV news, that we only need to believe and to, uh, you know, to establish the kingdom of God in this failed kingdom of earth, in contrasting the worldly truth with the, heaven, with the kingdom of God's truth. So we bring here the kingdom of God, we help establish the kingdom of God, so, so that we, you know, come that judgment day, our works will be seen by God. This grace, though, this salvation has been handed over to us by grace. All what we are required to do, as I have just said, is to believe. Then when the judgment day comes, we shall receive salvation and we will be glorified. But of course, whosoever does not believe and has chosen the path of the evil will be condemned to, you know, to the second death, separation from uh, God. But even for us who believe, we, we are expected, you know, to give an account based on our job description. And I looked at our job description, and I thought our job description is actually found in Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, when Jesus was talking to his, his disciples, because as the kingdom ambassadors, you know, we are the disciples today. And he said to them, and he's saying to us today, go into all the world and preach, teach the gospel to all creation. And of course, the gospel is the message of salvation, that Jesus Christ uh, died for our sins, so that when we believe, then we are going to have salvation. We are going to be reconciled back to God because we have all sh fallen short of the glory of God through our sins. And the message of salvation is love, joy, and peace. Whoever believe, believes 
and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. In this world, of course, we work so hard and invest so hard to live well. You know, we work for our masters, we work for ourselves, we invest money, we invest finances, we invest time and sometimes even emotions. But man, we are so short-sighted because we, we invest so much and we work so hard for this temporary life, but we forget to invest in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God teaches us that we should invest in the things that are eternal, uh, teaching the good news of the gospel, you know, and, uh, and, and, and establishing the kingdom of God in this world or this earthly kingdom where all systems have failed and where there is so much deception. We should invest more and work more for our sovereign master who we will face on the judgment day. We must invest or work so hard to have better lives. Uh, I mean, or rather we, we, we work so hard and invest so hard to have better lives here on earth. And our quality of life, of course, depends on how much we earn. But likewise, our quality of life in Christ Jesus, in God, and even thereafter, depends so much on how much we invest in God, time-wise, you know, and everything that we do, everything that we do for the kingdom, how much we have invested in him is, is going to determine how our, our quality of life in him and also life after death. Thank you so much. I hope you have been uh, blessed because I have been immensely blessed by the teaching today. And until I see you again in another episode of 10 Minute Plugin, and of course, remember that we come live each and every day with 10 minutes of plugin, sometimes teachings, sometimes sharings, and um, interviews. And uh, like now we have an ongoing uh, teaching from Lady V, which is so rich and we need to understand the kingdom of God, the concepts, the precepts, you know? I told her that at the other time she was teaching, she just uh, left me so hungry. So please, 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 please join us every Tuesdays for this special kingdom teaching so that we may understand the kingdom of God and we may know the difference between religion and kingdom of God. I hope you have been blessed and I will see you at the top. God's blessings. I love you with the love of Christ. Bye-bye.